my name's Mark Ellins. Welcome to the Socionext stand at Embedded World 2016. Socionext is a fabulous semiconductor company established in March 2015 through the fusion of the system LSI businesses of Fujitsu and Panasonic. As our name suggests, our main focus is the development of system on chip solutions, primarily targeting the imaging and optical networking markets. In addition, we inherit a long tradition in the ASIC area and customization is an important part of our capabilities. Socionext is headquartered in Shin Yokohama, Japan and has approximately 2,600 employees worldwide. In Europe, we have approximately 250 staff distributed across five locations in the UK, Austria and Germany, developing both system on chip products and embedded software. Our main focus on this year's show is our imaging capabilities, where we have a full range of solutions covering all aspects of image capture, transmission and display. Here to introduce some of these demonstrations in more detail is Marcus Mierzer, the head of our Graphics Competence Centre in Munich. Hello, my name is Marcus Mierzer and at first I would like to explain about our automotive HMI solutions. In this integrated HMI demo, we show how to drive three displays from one of our latest SOCs. In this setup, we use a cluster display for the main car information, a head-up display for additional data, and a center display for infotainment. All these three displays are connected remotely to the SOC using our single-chip graphic controller family based on APIX technology. APIX is an automotive pixel link with up to three gigabits per second, so we can connect up to HD displays at this moment. The SOC is able to render the user interface simultaneously on all three displays. We are using CGI Studio, our software suite, to create the user interface and to execute the HMI. We use 3D and 2D graphics acceleration methods to execute the HMI smoothly. For the 2D, we use a special technology called Cirrus. This is our in-house 2D graphics technology which provides a number of basic functions which help to run and execute the HMI in a smooth way. Finally, we show how to establish a graphical link from a smartphone to the center display. Here we can stream graphical information from the smartphone onto the center display and we can operate the smartphone from here. Now this is important for the younger generation for whom the smartphone is an essential part of their life. They want to use their navigation apps, their streaming music and their contacts in the car. However, as car sharing is increasingly becoming more popular, it is also important to protect the data and to, to, to not leave any data in the car. This is guaranteed by this technology because we only use a graphical link. Okay, so this was a brief snapshot about our automotive HMI solutions and now I would like to hand over to my colleague Matthias Neumann who will explain about our codec products. Another application example for automotive is our um, uh, multi-format HD decoder. Uh, it was designed for um, uh, in-car infotainment but can be also used for hybrid set-up boxes and uh, home gateway, gateway or uh, general media solutions. Um, it was the first product in the market supporting uh, HEVC decoding for automotive use. Uh, it includes an H.264 encoder and 3D graphics engine. And furthermore, um, a security engine for advanced security. Um, this device has very low power consumption, so it's an uh, idle uh, chip for um, automotive use, but also for general applications. We are not only focused on automotive. Um, in the next demo, we can see our M31 encoder device. Um, this is a very new device supporting real-time encoding, 4K 60p um, per second, and uh, using the latest compression technology, uh, HEVC. This new format is adopted rapidly worldwide as 4K video becomes more and more popular and uh, reduction of the bandwidth is a fundamental requirement in this application. M31 is designed for high-end equipment for professional use. Um, finally, we want to show you our OmniView 
technologies demonstrated by this car model. The OmniView technology provides views from different sides from the vehicle. This allowed to see images not only from the front, the rear and the sides, but also to see a virtual image from all directions in this environment. <laughs> this can improve the vehicle security by providing visual assisting to the driver while parking or changing lanes. In combination with our computer vision in technology, we can detect objects or road signs and highlight them in the OmniView picture. The drone application above me is a new but a very promising use case for this OmniView. A full set of tools, libraries and device drivers are ready for implementation with our display controller SOCs.